Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about user groups, which we use as a way to control the bandwidth that our wireless users use. And then we're also going to talk going to talk about how to do that effectively with vouchers as well. So let's get to it. We're in our Unify 5.4.9 controller. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to settings and we are going to go to user groups and under user groups you see this screen and our default user group is called default and the bandwidth limit for download and the bandwidth limit for upload are both unlimited so we could edit this or we can create a new group so that's what we're going to do and when I do public Wi-Fi, I always create, um, I usually create a group and call it public Wi-Fi, but this is our controller here, so we're going to name these a little differently. So I'm going to call this one 1024, which, which is basically a, um, we'll call it a megabit. And we'll use 1024, so the upload and download for the group 1024 is limited to 1024 kbps. Now you could do another one and call it 512 and do the, th the same thing. So now you have this 512 group and their upload and download is 512. You could create a, another group and now what we've done is we have limited the upload and download And then if you really, 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 really wanted to um, slow somebody's internet down, we call it 56, so 56K. And then if you wanted to get technical with a channel size, uh, like with a DS0, we would do uh, 64. So... That's how we use the user groups here under user groups. Now let's take a look at one other way we can kind of control traffic. And we're going to do that under guest control. The first thing we'll have to do here is we'll have to turn our guest portal on. Um, and then we are going to do hotspot. And then that will... We'll go ahead and just save this real quick. And then this will bring up this hotspot manager. So we load the hotspot manager. Now, as an admin, you should have access to this. You can also create operators. And there's a, a link where operators can log in directly so they don't go into the admin part. Um, and if you have somebody that you just want to issue vouchers and double check payments and, and all that good stuff, use the operator panel but you do have to have hotspot enabled for this but real quick let's hop over here and we're going to look at these vouchers and this is the second place where we can kind of control the traffic and we the voucher is really nice because it it takes it a step further so let's create a voucher and now what you're seeing here is a whole different way of of managing the bandwidth so what we're going to do is we're going to create one one-time voucher it's going to last 24 hours and it's also going to be limited to 1024 so this would be like a one one gig voucher so when we look at this code we've got no speed limit but we've got a one one gig quota and notice in the notes we say this is a one gig voucher it lasts for one day so within one day 24 hours from the time this is activated that user can use one gig we can go a little step further and we can limit the upload and the download to 512 both ways and then also have a one gig 
one gig byte quota. So they can use a total of a gig, but they can only do it at 512 megs up and down. So you can start seeing how you can you can start massaging this and uh, you know making making some of those limits really work for you. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to cover here. Uh, let's create another voucher. Um, so you could do one one voucher and you could do you know two days and limit it to um, you know so in in four days or in two days they have a four gig so that's that's how you can kind of do that now um, one other thing I want to talk about with the user groups see you see how we created these user groups we come in and we create a wireless network if we expand these without the guest policies turned on you see this user group right here so what we can do is for every SSID that we have we could use a different user group so I'll cancel that one so watch so we'll create a new one okay so this is the SSID that they're gonna see how lab dash Wi-Fi dash one MB right so we would put a uh, you know And then we'll leave the guest stuff unchecked because we're not going to use vouchers. But we can come in here. That's one meg. We can select that 1024 group and then save that. And now anytime anybody connects to this one meg SSID, they are going to be limited to a meg up and a meg down. So that's... that's uh, that's user groups in a nutshell. Uh, we also then took it a step further and looked at how we can, you know, do some bandwidth throttling within the the hotspot si side of Unify. So, um, if you are buying your Unify gear, please look for the links, the uh, Amazon links down in the description. And then, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share, and please come back for the next video.